More keys added to the pile. Shitload of keys. Now let's see what the new one is. Here we go. Fresh set of keys. Can you guess what it's for? Oh shit! It's a summit! Holy shit! Yeah. I like my last one so much I just had to buy another one. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's actually a Colt. Stupid addition. Oh well. <laughs> Same thing as last time. Just a different color. It's got a lot less rust. Rocker panels are okay. Mint in interior. It's a couple stains, but I gotta clean them. And you're not gonna believe this. An aftermarket tape deck. Yeah, you heard me. This must have been before my time. It's even got the manual. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. There's something to laugh at here. This is a piece of history. So, how much did I pay for it? You'll never guess. <laughs> Almost a scrap value. I paid only $200 for it. You might want to... might wonder why. It's a piece of crap. Yeah. <laughs> Here's why. Oh shit. That's not why it was just locked. Key. Annoying dinger. The radio works. Whoops. Same unit as my last one. Low miles too. This is a 93. But here's the problem right here. Apparently the flywheel is busted, or something, or something's, I don't know, it's a project, I guess. Yeah, it is a 93. A Japs crap. I'm not sure if it's a 1.8 or a 2.4. Might be a 2.4 because the last summit I had had a different valve cover, and I remember seeing the 1.8s were smaller or they had this this kind of style valve cover. But it is a, a year newer for my other one, so the engine design must be different. So there's the starter way down there. I don't think you can see it. Apparently it's brand new. So I guess the flywheel is what's busted, which is way the hell down there in between the transmission and the engine. Oh well, wheels is wheels. The summit continues. Oh shit. <laughs> what the? There, now it works. Well, it's now the next day for the summit and Started pulling it apart. Pulled the starter out. It is actually a brand new starter. Teeth are nice and clean. Just a bunch of uh, just a bunch of grease on there. It's actually not chewed up. Stuck my hand in here. Pulled a bunch of shit out of the way. Went nice down in here, over into here, and here's the uh, assembly this circle slides into and there's two bolt holes one is for right here and then there's another one down here I stuck my hand in there and sure enough pulled my fingers out looked at them and saw a bunch of little shavings of metal so yeah the flywheel is chewed up 
So I've never done a flywheel before, so if anyone has any tips on how to do a flywheel, like I know it requires pretty much separating the transmission from the engine, but uh, I don't even know really where to start. So I'm pretty sure I have to undo the axles and maybe even take off the whole front end. I don't know. Where do I start? Ow! <laughs> Shit, I hit my head. <laughs>